guys i'm coming today to do a what's in my makeup kit video so i'm gonna show you everything that i have in my kit that i use if you want to see me use something drop a comment down in the comment section and let me know and i'll do a video this is my nars translucent powder and Chris have these three master glaze by maybelline this can be used as blush. I use them as blush and as eyeshadow sometimes, even as a lipstick. So, these are pretty cool. They're very, very sheer. Very sheer. I'm missing one of these, but yes, I do have a lot of LA Girl Pro Conceal. This color is Toast here, and this one is Medium. I have no idea how to say that. I never did. And as far as brushes, I use my Morphe 520 brushes, which are these here. This is and I just cleaned these, but I need to get a better cleanser because the little automatic cleanser that I was given a review a while back does not clean thoroughly, as you can see. But this is the Warm Stone Marble Collection. BH Cosmetics as well. This is the Urban Lux Cool To Go eyeshadow palette. I also have this Ulta Beauty contour kit. This is the first contour kit I bought when I was working there. And I rarely used it because I ended up finding something else that I liked better. But I actually used this to do my pre-makeup drawings. So that's why it looks fairly used and fairly new at the same time. One of my more recent favorites, my Aurora Lights palette. Go ahead and show that. And these are the colors. This palette is very, very, very pigmented. And it is one of my favorites. I have two of these, which is BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. As you can see, I have two. I really, 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 really like them. I have two because if you didn't see my last video about my Ulta mishap, I ordered this off the internet from Ulta, and that's how it came to me. The highlighter was completely broken in the middle. Let them know. They let me keep this one. So they sent me another one, and it came perfectly fine. So you can see the colors. My last couple of makeup videos I did were off of the Zodiac and the Aurora Lights palette. This is my old trusty bestie, as you can tell, it's a little loved. The top is completely broken. But this is BH Cosmetics Modern Matte. As you can see, some of them are very well, well used. I particularly use black to do my eyebrows with. And again, these are very, very pigmented. That's why I love BH Cosmetics products. They are inexpensive, but they are good. Here's another. Goodie. This is my second edition 120 color palette from BH Cosmetics. This one is double layered. Here are the colors in the first layer. This was my very first BH Cosmetics palette and when I got it I was completely sold. And I've had this for quite some time now. There's the second layer. Cosmetics Studio Pro. This is the Dual Effect Wet Dry Eyeshadow. These are the colors. This the only naked palette that I own. They're Smoky Palette. These are the colors. As you can see, my favorite. I love this one. This is a Smolder. It's one of my favorites out of the whole thing. Then I have this No Name Palette because this is a palette that I created myself. And these are the colors. I bought this before I bought my BH Cosmetics um, Zodiac and Aurora Lights palette because I was looking for something really glittery. I didn't have anything at the time, so I made this palette. Sasha Beverly Hills. And deep, and as you can see, it is very, very well, well used. And I don't clean these off because this is my makeup. I don't use it on anybody else but myself, so I'm not really worried about how it looks in here. Let me not forget, this is Maybelline's The Mini City palette. I actually won this from um, Influencer, and I have not yet used it. These are the colors in here. So I use this CoverGirl, Say Illuminous, this is Soft Sable, Smashbox is Studio Skin. This is in number 4.3, which is a little dark for me. If I have to, I'll mix it with this to lighten it up a little bit. This is the only powder that I own, which is Bare Minerals Original Formulation, and this is in Neutral Dark. Setting and Priming Sprays, I have my Milani's Make It Last Setting Spray, Photo Finishing Priming Water. There's also the Smashbox Full Exposure Mini Mascara. And this cute little tiny lipstick. This is in Pretty Social. I said I wasn't going to swatch, but I'm going to. Oh, it's very sheer, as you can see. I also have this NYX 
the lighting powder and this blush, this velvet blush from Ulta's collection and Majestic. It's called So Baked Baked Bronzer. This is Cosmetic Eyeshadow in Bronze Fantasy. I believe this was March. Elf. Baked Highlighter and Bronzer. Yes. yes, Studio Gear. This is really, really old. This was back when Ulta was called Ulta 3. This bronzer and Stardust. And let me tell you, I use this as eyeshadow. I use this as highlight before Fenty came out and everybody was looking for a perfect highlight. This is what I was using. I was Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color and Sable. Sometimes I use this on my eyebrows. Sometimes I use it as an eyeliner. I also have this lippy by Professional Makeup Company. It's lip gloss and Aspen. As you can see, pot is broken. That's the color. It's too pretty to get rid of. I'm just watching this one for you guys. It's very, very sheer, but it is very pretty. I got my Smashbox. This is Limitless 15 Hour Wear Cream Shadow. That is the cover. This is a long video, guys. And if you're still here, thank you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. From Bobbi Brown. This is the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. And then I have this Ashley's Tisdale Illuminate. This is BH Cosmetics as well. This is a cream cheek and lip tint. Right here. Another pretty color. I have some Avon Super Shock. This is cream liner as well in Burn Shed Copper. This is my Becca's Multitasking Perfecting Powder in Deep Bronze. And as you can see, it's actually broken. I also have this Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. My Lorac Behind the Scene Eye Primer. And I might use my Old Beauty's Tinted Primer, which is a satin blush. And then I also have this Wet n Wild Hello Halo. There it is. Holographic Highlighter. Ulta's Lash Primer, and I use Ulta's Maximum Lashes as well. It's Too Faced Bulletproof Shadow Liner. Very pretty. I also have Butter London's On The Glow Pen in gold. Got a lot of highlight, a lot of swatches on my hand, but that is the color. Next, I have Rowl Pencil in black. My Ulta Eyeliner in black out and plum. Paladio, this is a Ulta brand, I mean a Sally's brand, and white. Also have LA Girls Glide Gel Liner, Mermaid Blue. I love using this color as a um, eyeliner and a lip pencil. Yeah, I need to sharpen this, as you can see. In Paradise Purple. As well, the Avon Ultra Luxury Lip Liner in Chocolate. I have two Marc Jacobs highliner in matte gel crayon. I have two. I have a purple one, but for the life of me, I cannot find it at this moment. And this one is called Pink of Me. And as I said, I use it a lot. I use it as an eyeliner and a lip liner with certain lipsticks. I have this Boutique. This is a Sally's brand long-lasting automatic lip liner. I use the color is Firebreak. And then I have Smashbox Brow Tech Brow Shaper Powder in Brunette. This is Marc's No Place to Run Longwear Eyeliner. I was in love with this because once you put it on, it literally was going nowhere. I have another NYX. This is Chestnut Lip Liner. I have my Smashbox the Nude Lip Pencil, Dark. As you can see, I use it quite often. I have this Bobbi Brown Nude Beach Cream Shadow. Another Bobbi Brown Shadow Stick in Velvet Plum. And I said I wasn't going to swatch, but look at my hand. I've been swatching this whole video. This is Kat Von D's Color Corrective eyeshadow primer. The color is deep. And I have this BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Highlighter. If I said I wasn't going to go again. That's the shimmer side. And this is the matte. Um, lip paint. I don't remember the name of this brand, but it's sold at um, Ulta. And this is Anchor On. Just you can see, Ulta. You put this on your lips first, and you put this pink powder on, and it kind of turns into like a um, metallic-y purple. But this does crack after a while, but it is really pretty. You know, I have my little cheap glosses as well. This is um, Lip Luscious, I think. This is a Sally's brand that I like to use on top of my lipsticks because of the light pink shimmer. This is Ulta's Juice Infused Lip Oil and Green Tea and Avocado. Blossom by Milani. Watch these because they're so pretty. This was Milani also. This was in Ritzy. One of my favorite colors. And we're going to swatch that as well. 
And this is another Melania and Summer Sizzle. Guys, Summer Sizzle. Very pretty elf lip scrub at the bottom, but also people at the bottom of these. It also has a little lip jab down there. We have Avon Crimson. This is their ultra rich color. Again, this is in Crimson. Also have some Bite Beauty. So you guys can hear my son just woke up in Fig. Very pretty color as well. This is Milani also. Another delicious. Not Too Faced and Naughty Nude. Very nude color. This NYX Matte Velvet. The color is Midnight Muse. And it's a really dark, dark purple. I enjoy dark movies. This NYX Macaroon. And this is in Key Lime. This is Key Lime. I'm running out of the swatch space, guys. Last regular lipstick is LA Girl Matte Velvet Matte. I believe this one pops on too, yeah. The color is Love Triangle. Start swatching down. I don't think shimmer gloss with a golden shimmer. Look at that. And it smells like honey. It's very, 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 very pretty. I have my Ulta Beauty lip primer. As you can see, as well used. The label is coming off. I have my Ulta Beauty lip crayon. Glamour. Ulta Beauty matte color. I am not even going to put you that. Okay. I have Lipstick Queen. Crime. Stick Queen in genre. Very sheer orange color queen. Liquid lipstick coral. There we go. Hope you guys come down here a little bit. That's coral. We have fuchsia. There's fuchsia. Stick queen candy. We have this Maybelline New York matte pink. This color is in Pioneer. I actually have two of these, but I don't know where the other one was. Same thing with that uh, Tattoo Ink lipstick. They get dry, but they crack, and they rub off. Smash box. Limitless long wear lip gloss. Oh, my gloss is right here. Okay. Too Faced Melted Chocolate. Put that right on top of another one, but that's the Melted Chocolate. Anastasia Beverly Hills Make It Liquid Lipstick. This is Vamp. Vamp is Sad Girl. And my favorite, 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 favorite my cousin gave me when I was working at Ulta. This one is called Socialite and this is a lip gloss. It does not crack. It does not dry my lips. And that is my favorite of all time. You guys see these are all my lip base and eyeliners and such. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you stayed all the way through, thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Again, thanks for sitting with me while I clean up my makeup case. And you guys have a great, 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 great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!